Good morning, Mount Olive youth and young adults. This is Minister McCall. Today is Sunday, February 13th. I pray all is going well. As our nation continues to pause this month to honor the contributions and sacrifices of our African-American ancestors who have helped shape American history, we want to pause this morning and talk to you from this thought. But even if not, this thought comes from the Old Testament book called Daniel. Daniel and three of his teenage friends, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, were captured from their homeland, Jerusalem, and taken into Babylonian captivity. Captivity, young people, is the state or period of being held, trapped, imprisoned, enslaved, or confined against your will. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, tried to make these three fellas Babylonians by giving them names that mention Babylonian gods, little gods, and train them in the culture and the way of his world. These Hebrew boys were stripped of their language, stripped of their families, stripped of their identities, and stripped of their names. While Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah were their Jewish birth names, Babylon gave them new names. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. There in Daniel chapter 3, the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar set up an image of himself, a statue of gold that was 90 feet high and 9 feet wide. He wanted everyone in Babylon when a particular sound of music was played to bow down, submit to his rule, worship and adore him, and pledge their allegiance only to him. Like Donald Trump, Nebuchadnezzar was arrogant, proud, narcissistic, and required excessive admiration. However, these three teenage friends, these uh, three teenage boys, Hananiah, Michelle, and Azariah, refused to worship the 90 feet, 9 foot wide golden image. And therefore, they were sentenced to be executed, killed in a fiery furnace. Check out their response to their death sentence by in Daniel chapter 3, verse 17 and 18, they said, If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. You see, in spite of their oppressor's attempt to erase their identities, abandon their principles, these young boys remain steadfast and true to the God of their ancestors. These young men knew and believed that even in the fire, God was still able. Even in the fire, God was still in control. Here it is, young people, as a believer, as a child of God, you can know the truth and yet still experience trouble trials, and tests in your life. You can have all the faith like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and still face furnaces in life. Those fiery situations, those file situations, those frightening situations. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were some bold young brothers. These three teenagers teach us that when we face the inedible in life, we have to have a still believe mentality. They were in a foreign land, away from their home, away from their family, away from their parents' influence, away from their church, yet they still believe that God exists, still believe God had all power, still believe that God loved them no matter what, still believe that God had a plan for their lives. They still believe that God was with them and not against them. You see, God did not spare these young teenagers from being thrown into the fiery furnace. And sometimes God will not spare you nor me, us, from those fiery situations. Sometimes he allows you, allow me, allow us to go through the fire. You know the fire. Through the accusations. Through the pain. Through the ridicule. Through the hurt. Through the sickness. Through the betrayal. Through the broken relationship just to open up greater doors for our lives. 
The Bible says in Daniel chapter 3 that Nebuchadnezzar became furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and he ordered the furnace to be heated seven times hotter than usual. The Bible says he commanded some of the strongest soldiers in the army to tie up these boys and throw them into the blazing furnace. The furnace was so hot that the flames of the fire killed the soldiers who threw them in. Nebuchadnezzar asked his advisors, wasn't there three men that we tied up and threw into the fire? His advisor said, certainly, your majesty. Nebuchadnezzar said, but look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unharmed, and the fourth looked like a son of God. Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego came out of the fire. The fire had not harmed their bodies, did not harm their hair, did not harm their clothes. They didn't even smell like smoke. Because see, even though they were in the fire, they were still in God's presence. Sometimes God will let you go through stuff just so he can come into your stuff. So even if you are facing a situation today where it looks like there's no way out, it looks discouraging, it looks defeating, it looks like a roadblock blocking your path, you just keep holding on to your faith. God can, God will make a way out of what seems to be no way out. Here's our prayer this morning. Lord, let us have the confidence of Hananiah, Michelle, and Azariah. As we, with you on our side, face whatever this Babylon, this fallen world of ours may throw our way. Lord, guide us when we have difficult decisions to make this week. Lord, guide us when we don't know the right course of action to take. Lord, give us the strength today to do what we know is right and the people and be the people you want us to be this week. May God continue to bless you, young people is our prayer. Look forward to talking to you next Sunday.